Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on oxytocin, a hormone and peptide with profound physiological and therapeutic effects. In this session, we will explore its mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations. We will also discuss its specific use in enhancing social interaction and bonding, along with its applications in mental health, pain management, and hormonal support. Additionally, we will review three detailed clinical case studies and recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's begin. Oxytocin is a naturally occurring hormone and neuropeptide produced in the hypothalamus and stored in the posterior pituitary gland. It is best known for its role in labor and lactation, where it stimulates uterine contractions and milk ejection. Beyond reproductive health, oxytocin has significant effects on social bonding, emotional regulation, and stress management. Often referred to as the love hormone or bonding hormone, it plays a critical role in enhancing trust, empathy, and social interaction in both individual and group settings. Oxytocin is FDA approved for labor induction, but is widely used off-label for various conditions in integrative and functional medicine, including autism spectrum disorder, social anxiety, and relationship health. Oxytocin exerts its effects through binding to oxytocin receptors, which are G-protein coupled receptors expressed in the uterus, brain, heart, and other tissues. Reproductive effects. Stimulates uterine contractions and milk ejection by increasing intracellular calcium in smooth muscle cells. Central nervous system effects. Social interaction and bonding. Enhances trust and emotional connection by modulating activity in the amygdala, prefrontal cortex, and reward pathways. Stress reduction, decreases cortisol levels and promotes parasympathetic activity, reducing anxiety and enhancing relaxation. Pain modulation, activates opioid receptors to reduce pain perception and promote analgesia. Gut-brain axis effects, modulates gastrointestinal motility and reduces gut inflammation. Oxytocin's ability to improve social behaviors and reduce stress makes it a valuable therapy for individuals with social interaction difficulties and mood disorders. Oxytocin has a wide range of clinical uses, including enhancing social interaction and bonding, improved social functioning in individuals with autism spectrum disorder, ASD, reduces symptoms of social anxiety and enhances trust and empathy in interpersonal relationships, improves communication and emotional bonding in couples or family therapy settings, mental health, reduces anxiety and depression by enhancing emotional regulation, helps individuals with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, by reducing hypervigilance and improving emotional processing. Pain management, effective for chronic pain conditions such as fibromyalgia and migraines, provides adjunctive pain relief during labor and post-operative recovery. Reproductive health, FDA approved for labor induction and management of postpartum hemorrhage, may improve sexual function and intimacy in men and women. Autonomic dysfunction, improves symptoms of dysautonomia, including postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, POTS, Gut-brain axis, benefits conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and leaky gut syndrome by modulating inflammation and motility. Oxytocin plays a central role in enhancing social interactions and emotional bonding. Here's how it works. Trust and empathy. Oxytocin increases trust and emotional openness by modulating activity in the amygdala and reward centers of the brain. It reduces fear-based responses, making it easier for individuals to engage in social interactions. Social functioning in autism spectrum disorder, ASD. Studies have shown that intranasal oxytocin improves eye contact, social communication, and recognition of emotional cues in individuals with ASD. Social anxiety and relationship health. Oxytocin reduces anxiety during social interactions and enhances emotional bonding in intimate relationships. It is increasingly used in therapy to improve relationship dynamics and communication. Group dynamics promotes cooperation and prosocial behaviors in group settings, making it valuable in team-based therapy or conflict resolution. Benefits the potential benefits of oxytocin therapy for social interaction include enhanced social behaviors including trust, empathy, and emotional connection, improve communication and relationship satisfaction in couples and families, reduce social anxiety and fear of rejection, 
better recognition of social cues and improved emotional regulation in individuals with ASD, enhanced cooperation and team dynamics in group settings, risks. While oxytocin is generally safe, potential risks include emotional overstimulation or increased sensitivity in certain individuals, rare nausea, headache, or mild dizziness, theoretical risk of promoting favoritism or bias in group settings, limited long-term safety data for chronic use in social applications, careful patient selection and dose adjustments can mitigate these risks. Alternatives. Alternatives to oxytocin for improving social interaction include for social anxiety, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, for ASD-related social difficulties, behavioral therapy or social skills training, for relationship health, emotion-focused therapy, or couples counseling, for group dynamics, team-building workshops or conflict resolution programs. Oxytocin can be administered via intranasal spray or subcutaneous injection, depending on the clinical application. For social interaction and bonding, route intranasal, dose 24 to 40 international units, IU, administered 30 minutes before social interaction or therapy sessions. For autism spectrum disorder, ASD, route intranasal, dose 24 IU once daily, with titration based on response. For social anxiety or PTSD, route intranasal or subcutaneous. Dose 10 to 20 IU administered as needed for specific situations or events. Treatment. Duration. Duration varies based on the indication, with regular reassessment every 4 to 12 weeks for chronic conditions. While laboratory testing is not routinely required for social applications, Baseline and ongoing assessments can enhance treatment efficacy. Baseline testing. Comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP. Hormonal profile, including cortisol, to assess stress response. Monitoring. During treatment, patient reported outcomes using validated social interaction or anxiety scales. Emotional regulation assessments via standardized questionnaires. Post-treatment evaluation. Evaluate progress in social behaviors and emotional well-being. Adjust dosing based on therapeutic response. Case study. One, autism spectrum disorder, yeah, ASD. A 15-year-old male with ASD struggles with eye contact, social communication, and emotional recognition. Treatment protocol. Oxytocin, 24 IU intranasally, once daily for eight weeks. Outcome, improved eye contact and responsiveness to social cues within four weeks, as reported by parents and teachers. Case study 2. Social Anxiety Disorder A 30-year-old female experiences severe social anxiety, particularly during work presentations and networking events. Treatment protocol, oxytocin, 40 IU intranasally administered 30 minutes before social events for six weeks. Outcome, reduced anxiety and improved confidence in social settings, with sustained benefits by week six. Case study. Three, couples therapy for emotional bonding. A 45-year-old couple undergoing therapy for communication issues seeks support to enhance emotional connection. Treatment protocol, oxytocin, 24 IU intranasally administered to both partners 30 minutes before therapy sessions for eight weeks. Outcome, enhanced empathy, improved communication, and greater relationship satisfaction by week four. In conclusion, oxytocin is a powerful tool for enhancing social interaction, emotional bonding, and stress management. Its ability to improve social behaviors makes it a valuable therapy for individuals with autism spectrum disorder, social anxiety, or relationship challenges. With careful monitoring and tailored dosing, oxytocin can provide significant benefits for both individuals and groups, offering innovative solutions in integrative and mental health care. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.